What's up, guys? Thank you so much for stopping by. I am so, so excited to do this reading for you guys. This is going to be for my Aquarius. And this is going to be a bi-weekly for um, the start of November. We are um, right at the end of the year. Very exciting. We are having a full moon. And the full moon will be in Scorpio. And this is going to be, this is actually a new moon. And this is going to be tomorrow, which is going to be Sunday, October the 27. So, big time um, in regards to energy. A lot of shifts are going to be taking place. This is going to be a very transforming moon. So, I wanted to do a reading for you guys just so that you already had the information regarding what energies and how this will be affecting you. I already feel the shift. I don't know if you guys um, have. I have definitely felt the shift already. I can just feel the excitement growing. Like something big is about to happen. I've been saying this and I've been feeling this energy when I meditate for Aquarius for like the past two or three months. So y'all probably... Um, have been having this feeling for the past two or three months that like things are changing things are shifting and even if you weren't aware or like not really sure what the changes were i'm like you can just feel it so really really exciting um like i said this is going to be a transformative moon so it's going to be bringing out a lot y'all know scorpios are deep very deep very very deep you know ruled by pluto very deep, exposing a lot of things. So, like, your feelings are going to be coming out. So, we're going to tap into your feelings as well as your partner's feelings. We're going to do a different type of spread. So, let's see. What are you guys going to be dealing with for the first um, two weeks of November? What are your blockages? Wow, we have Master. So, you can see him. He has his heart, like, in a cage, like, in his hands. Like, he has learn to master his emotions all right so this could be you guys um the first week really needing to kind of um put your heart in a cage so to speak you know have your feelings under wraps like i said this is going to be a really emotional and deep transformative moon being that it is in scorpio so that's going to be very important for you guys major arcana energy major major trans formation like i said i feel the energy this is going to be your partner the partner is going to be dealing with the major energy as well we have blossom all right and you can see this person has a fireball in their hands and it's so interesting because in this card we have for you guys this energy we have a male so you guys could be females but we have a male here. So this is letting me know you guys are going to be more tapped into your masculine energy going into these first two weeks. You guys are really going to be working hard at controlling your situation, your environment, your feelings, your emotions. And your partner, you see, this is a woman here. So your partner could very well be a woman, could be a male, but your partner is going to be more tapped into their feminine energy. They have something in their hands as well, this ball of fire, this passion. All right, so they could be going through a very, this can be a very transformative moon for them as well. They're going to be going through a lot of changes. All right, they're blossoming as well. So this is really interesting just to get us started. And ironically enough, y'all, balance on the bottom of the deck. Thought that was going to fall. All right, so we have the male and the female, and they're united as one. So this is like right now for both of you guys, it's going to be really important to stay balanced stay grounded you know tap into both your masculine and your feminine energy because you guys are both going through some changes you guys are mastering things you guys are becoming like super super um i just feel like being like evolving you know really learning a lot of things and then they're blossoming they're starting to go through some changes as well let's get a mutual card for you guys What's your mutual energy opening up? Wow. So you guys are both 
and balance still on the bottom of the deck. Stay balanced. You guys are both opening up. You guys are going through situations and transformations that are opening you guys up in different ways. So this is going to be really, really interesting. All right, so that's your mutual energy. Let's get some cards for my soul journey and go into this master and see, like, what is it that you guys are really mastering? That could be your emotions. So it could be, you know, you guys have went through a period where you were learning how to balance your emotions, how to really control your emotional feelings. It's really interesting. Really, really interesting, y'all. I'm loving this. Like, I feel it. I feel the shift. And I'm just like, Wow. Wow. So let's see for you guys. What are you guys mastering? What are my creators needing to master going into the month of November, y'all? Wow. Endings. Death here. Endings. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. So you guys are transforming, like I said. And I feel like right now you, you guys have your heart in that cage because it's deeper than an emotional shift. It's deeper than that. I feel like you guys are really like mastering your trade, mastering what it is you guys are doing, getting into your careers, getting into your businesses, mastering your businesses, mastering yourself, your mind, your how you stay motivated, what you allow come to your mind, what you allow yourself to get attached to. Really interesting energy. And for your partner here, we have worry. I am learning that worry just doesn't change an outcome. So they're going through some changes as well, learning how to take things into their own hands here, learning how to blossom and really be responsible and in stepping into their power, not just worry about situations, getting stressed. They're going through some changes as well. And like I said, both of these changes are going to open you guys up. It's going to allow you guys to come out of that dark phase that you guys have been in because you both have been in some, gone through some major, major trans, transformations. Judgment. You guys are both learning how to make better decisions. You guys are learning both how to have better judgment with things. You know, for yourself, your feelings, you know, how to start things, when to start things, not allowing things to control you. And then taking matters into their own hands and not getting so bent out of shape and worried about things all the time. You know, really taking matters into their own hands, stepping into their power, and it's opening you guys both up. I understand that everyone has their your own unique paths and challenges. So, like I said, this is developing both of you guys' it's judgment and things, but it's in different ways. Because we all have our own challenges, but like I said, you guys were both blocked, both holding on to some old ways, both going through some shifts. But at the end of this, we have happiness. Abundance, healing. So, I just feel like, whoo, that was so powerful already. Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. I trust my knowing and follow my heart. Like I said, judgment. For This is judgment for both of you guys. You guys are both learning how to follow your heart, how to trust in yourself, how to make better decisions, how to be accountable for the decisions that you guys are making. You know, how to um, not only think about yourself when you're making decisions, you guys are open up to like a higher level, your intuition, following your heart, trusting yourself. So very, very interesting. Let's get some cards and go into this um, death and master over here. One already came out for you guys. We got the wheel of fortune. I trust whatever the universe brings me. Okay, so you guys could have been blocked by trying to control things, but this is like, that's why you have things that end and it was beyond your control. So this is with the Wheel of Fortune. This is telling you guys that you can trust what the universe is bringing you. You know, have faith. Stop trying to control everything all the time. You know, it is good to go ahead and get a grip on yourself, your emotions, how you respond to things, what makes you guys get emotionally off balance, out of line, you know, ungrounded, get in tune with that, end that, and start a new cycle. Like I said, it is our merely beginnings, but it's also having you guys to learn how to, this judgment here, trust your judgment and trust what the universe is bringing you. Trust that everything that you're going through always aligns with the higher purpose and the higher plan. Okay, really getting get in tune with that. So definitely bomb energy. We also have the five of cups in reverse. I will move forward when the time is right. 
So this came out in reverse. You guys are, you know, not really taking action with something because it's like you're so afraid based on what things that have happened in the past. But you're releasing that because that's a block. And you're, you're learning to release that. You're learning to trust the universe. You know, when the universe says it's time to move forward, it's okay to move forward. For your partner here, they have a knight of pentacles. I deserve financial security. Okay, so this is them learning how to... They're going through this situation blossoming in regards to their work and their financial security. Okay, they're learning how to put in that hard work, that dedication over time to create that stability in the future. You know, they're going through some things to know. They went through situations, I feel, to bring out their worth and help them learn their worth. All right? So they've been working hard, and now they're blossoming. It's like now they have a better sense of self-worth, and now they're able to have a different outlook. Look at this person. He's looking out. He has this coin to his chest, okay? This is the night. So he has been working. All right? And over time, this is like, Things are going to pan out. Seven of Cups. I trust myself to see the truth. All right. They've been, your partner could have been going through a period of questioning their self-worth. You know, they've been working hard at something and they probably feel like they haven't seen the results. And as a result, it could have had them closed up, you know, from making decisions because they could have felt like they don't know if they're making good decisions. That's why we have the judgment here. We're open up. They're going through a transformation now. I trust my knowing and follow my heart. They're going to be able to make take action now and trust that they're doing the right thing. Look at this on the bottom of the deck. Whatever I decide, I trust the outcome with the two of swords for both of you guys. So you guys are learning how to trust the universe and they are learning how to trust themselves. Okay. How to make balanced decisions. How to stop worrying about things. Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Like, this is for once you guys get the learn these lessons, you guys are going to be able to come back together and continue the happiness that you guys had in the past. So, let's see with the Wheel of Fortune here. I trust whatever the universe brings me. What is blocking this, like, for you guys? Why are you guys um, feeling so blocked and wanting to control things like high priestess yeah so you guys your intuition has been guiding you this is you guys you know now understanding that your intuition is guiding you and now knowing that the universe is bringing you information through your intuition through your wants you're able to take action now because you now trust the universe all right, y'all, y'all ended that period of going through trying to control every single thing, you know, trying to control the emotional aspect of a situation or just having ties to things that was holding you guys back. Yeah, and it could have been just your thoughts. I move forward when the time is right. You guys never know when the time is right. Nine of swords, three of cups. You know, you could have been getting help for your friends. Maybe you were saying your friends were moving forward and you were still feeling stuck and bound because of all these thoughts. But this is like the universe. You're coming out of that period. And it's like it's the time where you can go ahead and celebrate. Okay, you can go ahead and start celebrating because now is the time to move forward. All right, you're putting an end to all of that in the past that was holding you back. Let's get one more card for the three of cups. Yeah, seven of pentacles. You were you were taking the moment to kind of look and see your resources, see what you had, see what it is that you need to get to where you want to be, to feel comfortable, to feel confident. You know, it was just like not really investing, kind of afraid to invest. All right, because you guys weren't really sure. And it's crazy because for your partner here, they were being blocked by their toxic thoughts in regards to this relationship i feel they were trying to take themselves out of this dark spot because your partner could have been dealing with the capricorn but whoever the person was they're learning or they're putting in this work with trying to get their financial security together because it's like they like nice things and they like their partner to be able to enjoy nice things and maybe they just didn't know how to take charge with things. It could have been, like I said, their finances. Maybe this person just, you know, spent a lot of money towards things that they enjoy or making, 
themselves happy or you happy going out on nice dates, going out on trips, eating, you know, expensive meals. Like, they had to go through some period of self-work. So not even spending money on you. This is more so just feeling like they deserve nice things. You know, they deserve to live a good life. They deserve to be able to enjoy the hard work of their, their labor. And they could have been dealing with some toxic thoughts because they didn't really trust themselves. And as a result, it had their confidence down. But I trust myself to see the truth. We got the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. So it's like they're getting some communications. But they are like in and out. They're on and off. It's like your partner is trying to they're afraid to make a commitment so it's like maybe they express to you you know something that they've been on the fence about one minute they're in one minute they're out and they just communicate it to you but it's like they are learning to see the truth in things so they're learning how to make decisions and stick to those decisions how to stay committed to the things that they you know feel passionate about the knight of wands is kind of not committal knight of swords it's kind of like a communicator blunt yeah, the moon here. It's like they don't really know what it is they want to do. And as a result, two of swords, it's like they're afraid of the outcome of making a decision about something. So they're kind of blocked off. But with this two of swords on this deck, this says, I trust, whatever I decide, I trust the outcome. So this is, you know, trusting in themselves, following their heart, and releasing that worry. All right, so trans. Formative energy, like I said, for both of you guys, you guys are learning lessons. The hair fine in the world here, major arcana kind of energy. You guys are learning some lessons here. You guys have both been taught, or you guys are being taught, and it's teaching you on a spiritual level as well as helping you guys to learn these things so you can teach other people because you guys are wrapping up this cycle that you guys were learning all this, all these uh, major, major lessons. Like I said, transformation. The world here, this is fixed energy. The start and the bottom of the deck, you guys went through this as a, a some kind of healing. And Aquarius, this is you guys' this energy. You guys were both being healed on a different level for the both of you. Very, very interesting. Love, 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 love the energy. Like I said, you guys are both going to be able to come out of this situation making better judgment, you know, being more open, being more balanced. So let's get um, two cards from our universal wisdom oracle and see for both of you guys what advice do we have. Let's see. All right, so for them, they're needing to stay um, grounded. Wow, that's interesting. So you guys have autumn leaves. And they have Earth Song, which both speaks of the changes of the seasons and, you know, just being more grounded. No more wounds at the bottom of the deck. So you guys have both, like I said, been going through these lessons, been going through this major transformative energy where you had to go through some not so fun kind of things. But it was to teach you, to teach you, teach you. So, yeah, this definitely talks about walking into a new season, okay? And this is saying life is a continuous cycle of changing seasons. And each season holds its own particular beauty and unique vibration. No need to fear change. All right, so this just talks about the current events of your life are being divinely orchestrated. And a new chapter in your life is about to unfold. There is nothing you need to do except be patient and trust that all is unfolding as it should. Like I said, with the universe here, I trust what the universe is bringing me. All right, you guys have done the work. So now you're walking into a new period of happiness. So exciting. Let's see for Earth Song for your partner. All right, so this talks about... Um, your connection, your partner's connection to the earth, you know, getting grounded. And this talks about um, a healing power that your partner has right now. It's talking about loving the earth and loving themselves, okay? Feeling balanced. Remember I said in the beginning, it is very important to be balanced. This talks about feeling and accepting her love, nourishing your partner's soul. So your partner is, like I said, going through this transformation of self-love. 
learning how to love themselves, how to feel more confident in themselves, how to take action, you know, how to follow their heart and not really worry about the outcome. But happiness is here. So excited, guys. Harness this energy. Write down your intentions. Be intentional in this new trend that we're going into for the first two weeks of November, okay? Hope the messages resonate. They did, guys. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.